Actually, I love cooking, so I am participating in this competition. And my aim is to approach class 11 to join IIT. That's why I'm here. Everybody needs a little bit of cooking skill to survive in the world because they will go to studies in different parts of the world, different parts of India and they have to cook for survival. Right, young man, what have you made? It's Friday's and chicken burgers. Very good. Can you try the chicken? Yeah. No, no, I'm trying the chicken now. I will though. It is very spicy. Excellent. What's this about, man? Like, what do you, what do you see? Man? I think this is something that's got quite exciting for me. I've been in India for, for 12 years now. And I, I've also understood that kids in India just don't love it. I mean, it's, it's a reality that middle-class kids in India have never said for So I think the exciting thing for us three years ago when we initiated was, say, having a platform or a competition situation where people who maybe are interested in food can show off their talents. So I think it's very important that they learn this little bit of bits and pieces of cooking so that they not only survive but also enjoy after, after their life, even if they become a doctor or an engineer. Hopefully I'm looking into uh, an education abroad, a higher education. So English, anthropology, linguistics. I'm not aware. Abroad, um, well, I haven't taken my SAT yet, but I have taken my tour there. So UK, America, wherever I get a chance. If I go to Canada, then they're so polite, they'll just let me in. Break it into pieces and then uh, for garnishing, you used to put that and milk powder. So, so you always get the nails experiment. Yeah. Something good came right? Yeah. From, from my point of view, from IIT's point of view, it's a, it's a huge kind of a, a takeaway, if you like, to the um, uh, giving back to the society. Strata of youngster who knows cooking, who has got some talent of culinary skills and who some of whom will make big as their chef, some of whom will not become a chef but still will be much more knowledgeable in surviving, in cooking and then, then they may change their career midway because they have got some basic, basic um, uh, interest. Well, you know how most of India is starving? We're here to feed them chocolate mousse. Put lemongrass in that, so that basically eliminates like five million ingredients that you have to go to some specialty market and buy. So bruschetta sauce in Thai cuisine, you wouldn't think of it, but it works really well. These are small baby wraps with coleslaw filling, and the pancakes are eggless. I made them at home. And what filling you have given? I have a coleslaw filling inside. Coleslaw? Yeah, with mayonnaise. Now, first tell me how much time it took you to make so I woke up at 5.30 in the morning. Okay. And then now there's a whole feminist revolution going on. Right? Now we don't belong in the kitchen, we go there because we don't. You look so pretty at the same time. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm really happy that despite the fact that this, this, this cooking industry involves a lot of creativity, a lot of hard work, a lot of, you are not 
I really enjoy cooking, especially some my parents are both working and my grandparents, I have only one grandparent and she's very old so most of the time I take the aid of making, cooking. yeah, so she also feels happy. happy. What does your parent do? My father's a doctor and my mother's a college teacher. Do you expect anything out I love making, it's not Italian, it's continental, it's stroganoff. I love making that. What are you doing? Yes. Sorry. Because you can never have enough butter. And once that's kept aside, you take cream, just amul cream, it doesn't have to be, you know, fancy schmancy whipping cream. Um, mix a bit of cornstarch in that, some vanilla, and I add Bailey's Irish pen. Okay. So, uh, Bailey's, some chili flakes, some salt, and once again, chili flakes is just, you know, something that seemed nice at the time. So you're at the Nigella school of thought, can't have enough butter, can't have enough cheese. In your Absolutely. Okay, I think it's good. Good, well done. Thank you. So we have one young lady who's cooked like in her own interpretations on, on, on a, a Manai Chingri, which is a typical Bengali um, like shrimp dish, with some Thai, some Thai red curry paste, which tastes really, really quite good. And then she done a baked dish with everything that she had at home. And she covered it with steak sauce, so she was understanding the verbalization of, of sauces. And she cooked a, and she made a, a chocolate mousse. So typically a chocolate mousse is something that's very light and airy. And she made it without cream. So she said, it's more like a ganache. Now ganache is a term, a French term, that only chefs really would use. Very few, or maybe the French would know. But very few people would understand the basic terminology. So I think, smart cookie. Well, I'd originally joined this for fun because uh, my summer vacations are on because I get, you know, a chance to eat the rest of that because I knew the judges were only going to have a spoon or so. But um, I think it's evolving into something larger than that. Uh, this isn't just another cooking competition. It seems like something that people are very, very passionate about. And um, if I do get selected, which I sincerely hope I do, even though there are people who are probably more deserving, but if I do, then I will treasure this experience.